And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Shivana Dragons. That's right, we're going to be playing a dragon theme deck here with Demacia and Targon with our newest champion, Shivana. Um, definitely looks like a pretty cool card. Four mana, three, four attack and gets that plus one, plus one just for the round. Um, but just awesome art and everything. So we're putting it together with a, just a dragon themed deck. We got a whole lot of new cards in here. As you can see, the Egghead Researcher, Dragon Guard, Lieutenant. And we're just going to be trying some of our new stuff. We're going to have one of each of our new seven mana dragons with Eclipse Dragon and Stalking Broodmother. Those both can be good at different times. I like Dragon Guard Lookout. I think this one's an underrated card. We're going to be playing two copies of this where we can rally and get some extra attacks with our dragons. Um, for some interaction, we have three Concerted Strike, three single combats. And then a couple of spells with two sharp sights to uh, be some pump spells and then one repost. And then just all sorts of dragons. Well, if you're in here also being able to do some challenger and just be a three mana card to play, right? Like, because our deck basically is going from two to four, so we need something in the three. And I think Fiora can go perfect there. All right, so let's try this out. We're going to go play five games over in ranked with our brand new dragons. Um, yeah, this should be pretty fun. Let's see how we do. We're gonna have the new Dragon Guardian as well. Ooh, playing against Fizz. May be able to outrace us. Our new Dragon Sleeves. I love Herald of the Dragon. Um, yeah, basically just really like this hand. <laughs> Concerted Strike's good. Yeah, this is just a good hand. I like how that we have the attack token on turn three. Uh, we can play Fiora as a challenger on turn three. Okay. Yeah, I could definitely see the, the Rally being real important against other Soraka decks. That's true with, with their ability to just jump block. And there we go. That's why we're playing Fiora. Fiora is still a good card. Now we have multiple Screeching Dragons to play. I'm glad not Warning Shot. <laughs> I was thinking that they're... Or sorry, uh, uh, no, sorry, um, Make It Rain. I was thinking like they were going to Make It Rain and kill all these. We'll be able to go like Screeching Dragon, Screeching Dragon. Those should both be very good. Ooh. So we could have the Sharp Sight get a surprise block in here. But we don't need to do that yet. Let's just play Screeching Dragons. Off you go. That's going to be a useful card before we die. The end of this world draws near. We see through all. Let them exult. Try me. All right, we're attacking. Let's see what they do. Probably playing single combat this turn. Yeah, I just don't want to use the sharp sight. Probably not going to end up with enough time to play... Brilliant soul. All right, there we go. G, G's. That was a great hand for us. Look, if we have that hand every single game, we'll be very happy. Even though I know it doesn't. Ooh, Trundle Swain. Trundle Swain, pretty cool. I 
I don't really like this hand at all. We're gonna send it all back. Try again. Yeah, Zelay, I mean, the game's very, very new. I don't think it's going to have more viewers than games that have been around for a decade or, you know, two and a half decades. It's just too new for that. By my honor, you must die. So I think they stunned the wrong thing, right? Like, shouldn't they just stun my 3-2 and have me challenge with my Fiora? Will no one listen? Dragon blood, Demacian heart. So I can play Screeching Dragon right now. They can have Trundle. Do I want to play Screeching Dragon into Trundle? The answer is yes. That is the worst case scenario, but I think we still do this. Okay. Because if they, if they don't have Trundle, that's just much better for us. But they did. Alright, Shivana's seen Dragon Allies do 4 damage so far. He got to diamond yesterday with the starter deck. Nice. I don't really want another avalanche, right? Like, I don't really want to play this Dragon Guard Lieutenant and they, then they play another avalanche. I never hold back. I long for a worthy opponent. Try me. I'm gonna try this. I do have like the plus one plus one that could be available as well. It looks like we need that. Yep. That's pretty good. But we got Trundle down. And Shivana's leveled up. Pretty nice. If they're out there, I'll spot them. We wear red to honor the fallen. Ooh. Not a bad card. Not a bad card at all. Fight the signal fire. I have a new Shivana if I want to let this thing die. So I'll just play the 5-5 five five and you know we can have the Dragon's Clutch available. We have three regular mana, one spell mana, which was just four mana, so if this Shivana died, we could play a new one. A conquest for Empire! Hmm. So I think my plan is to give the 8-8 Challenger and challenge their Leviathan with it. I guess with attacking, we're also going to be creating a single combat. And I can use said single combat to take down Leviathan. 
<laughs> Infinite Might Splitter is so loud, isn't it? It's so loud. Challenge here and here. Put them down to one. But basically, this means that if they don't want to go to one, they have to have Swain block one of these two things. Alright, get a Mind Splitter. I'm gonna try to take down Swain and his ship. So Mind Splitter would still survive this because it would fight, it would uh, heal two afterwards with that thing, plus it would gain one with the Fury. So it's like the, the Leviathan would only basically do two damage to the Mind Splitter. Yeah, they're killing Shivana. Merely pawns in a greater game. All right, so not bad. So we have, we definitely have a better board, and we have four cards in hand, and they have five. Um, we're dropping Aurelian Soul. What kind of Ravenous Flock was that? So that was a Swain's Ravenous Flock that they just played. Which is why, you know, another reason why they were incentivized to do it right then. All right. Well, I guess I guess we're not playing a really insult this turn. The world in wings. But we got Dragon Shivana. Prepare the cargo. I'm something of an aspiring trichologist. Keep up, old man. Things are different in the field. Artillery barrage. We're at 16. Get him, Shivana. Let's go. All right, cool. Basically, I had to be able to kill um, Infinite Mind Splitter to be able to survive, and then at that point, I'd have my Mind Splitter fight their Leviathan. GG's. Oh, yeah, it's only two games so far, Krovax. But our decks look strong so far. Okay, Tom Kench Soraka. This is going to be a really good test of new decks. Somebody before was saying the dragons were just getting chump blocked by. Uh, let's just mulligan these two. The dragons are getting chump blocked forever by the Soraka deck. So let's see how this works out. So the the cards that I would like, to, like our very first opening hand, the game one. That's what I really want to see. I want to see like. Um, the two mana ramp card and, you know, having like Fiora's challenger and the five mana dragon's challenger. I love seeing those cards. So this isn't exactly that. We're much more even here with two, two, four, six. Pretty even hand. This is my defensive two drop, but they are also a defensive deck. I'm something of an aspiring trichologist. That's make any sense to attack in. Let them heal. Hmm, I don't like that card either. <laughs> it's a little expensive. Oh no, Shivana has the bug, or has just the, the box over it. Our diet is expensively unique. If we had one more mana, we'd be able to sharp sight and then single combat. Definitely considering just single combating the Tom Kench right now. And just put that thing down to two. No. I don't know. 
let us peruse this establishment's fair. <laughs> Tom Catch has some cool voice lines. I like that one a lot. Let us peruse this establishment so what's fair. In store for me? Uh, I need time for commune, Tom! This you know! <laughs> All right, single combat. What do we got? Don't cascade. Nope. That will be leveled up, Shivana. Second pill cascade is a little rough. Uh, let's see. I can't do anything about that, can I? It's absolutely stellar. It's unfortunate. Oh, I don't require a menu. That was, uh, not good. I wish I would have just gone with the concerted strike. So that thing is a summon ability. So I think that if we are able to kill the Tom Kench before it levels up. We will be able to get that thing back, and it will uh, create another dragon follower for us. So this leaves me with seven mana this turn, where I have Concerted Strike plus single combat with both of these large things to try to take down this Tom Kench. Yes, they just play that pass, because they just want to protect Kench, but I can just be attacking. Um, I think the pass helps me more than it helps them. Especially, you know, we get closer to Aurelian Soul and everything, too. I don't think I tap under the seven mana, though. Like, I don't think I play Herald the Dragons. So I think this is the thing to do against Bastion, is... Do this first. And then it's single combat to break up spell shield. And now strike and kill Tom Kench. It doesn't tell us anything about that. Yeah, but anyway, so that yeah, then this comes in. Ooh, created an infinite mind splitter for me, thank you. Oh, and then we also created a uh, Screeching Dragon. So it doesn't tell me that Bayou Brunch, if it was a Tom Kench Bayou Brunch or a regular one. But yeah, now we got all these more more and more dragons. So GG's. This is a great test of Twisted Fate, Swain. Uh, you know, basically the big bad deck from previous format. How are we going to do against it? Uh... I like both these four mana cards, but we we need to have we need to play something before turn three that's on that you know affects the battlefield, so that incentivizes me to mulligan these other cards. Like I like I like all these cards. Like none of these cards are bad, but I also need to find something to play before turn four, which looks like all I got is the Herald of Dragons. Okay, okay, Dragon Guard Lieutenant. Um, we'll still go with the upside with the Herald. Yeah, we still go with the upside with the Herald, even though the most likely thing that's going to happen is that they play Make It Rain. Whoa, not Make It Rain. So we get to play Shivana. Dragon blood. 
blood Demacian heart. Let the blood boil, half dragon. Soon. That's too bad. Especially if, especially if they have ravenous flock. That's too bad. Hopefully they don't. Yay! No ravenous flock. Okay. We're still in there. I don't think I can be scared of Shivana dying. I think I do need to be worried about my life total against a deck with all sorts of uh, damage spells like they have. Power is unimaginable, even now. I need more hands. That's a bummer. Man, that deck's pretty good. That deck's pretty good. No, Mention of the Stones is not better than Fiora. No. Not at all. It's much worse, in fact. You'll fight or you'll swim. Man, that's that's such a good card to hit. You get a two four, that thing trades here. Oh, that's a good card. Okay, I like I like that. Like a fish in water. <laughs> so not the best time for me to getting for me to be getting rally. But I think I still play Dragon Guard Lookout, right? Or no, maybe not. Maybe we just play this thing. The thing is we waste a ton of mana by not playing the Dragon Guard Lookout. Because if I don't play it here, you know, let's see, we're going, you know, with the Broodmother and then Mind Splitter, Mind Splitter. Like, it's also still just a 3 5. A 3 5 seems to match up fairly well. I'm ready. Now, where are they? Let's do this. Block. I haven't noticed any, I haven't really noticed new cards looking cartoonish. That, that hasn't been something that's really crossed my mind too much. So if we go Eclipse Dragon, then our Infinite Mind Splitter next turn costs two less, and we can have like Infinite Mind Splitter plus Dragon Lieutenant. Um, I'll just go Broodmother and attack a couple of times with it. Or not attack a couple of times with it. Certainly not hoping no Riptide Rex, right? Like that's... Never lost a fair game. Who says I don't share? Riptide Rex is always a beating. They just have, you know, like, warning shot Rex. Even like Leviathan, kind of be a problem. So we go Mind Splitter this turn. Next turn, Eclipse Dragon into Shivana. I feel like they're just turning on Riptide Rex. But that's how that's how it is. Please don't kill Infinite Mind Splitter. Well, it won't kill Infinite Mind Splitter. But it does kill both the other two dragons. Couldn't quite keep them alive. Dragon 
blood, Demacian heart. We're trying here. I th I'm not very skeptical that we're gonna be winning this. I'm not. I'm not uh, anything but that. So Shivana will be a five-six if I attack with everything. Because then that doesn't have to block. But then it's a four-five. Just trades with Reptile Rex. They had a great hand. They had a great hand. Yeah. If I just don't make that attack, I'm concerned strike. I don't know if it really work out. GG's. I did have just a great hand. Alright, now playing against Nightfall. Keep up. We tried. Just couldn't couldn't handle like those petty officers. Yep. Petty officer, powder keg, make it rain, and do two to all three of your things. It's so brutal. Because it's such a swing, you know, it does two damage to all of our stuff, plus then they have like a 3-1 and a 2-4 with the second petty officer. Come hither, you beasts of glory! You just can't play like one for one against that. And then Riptide Rex. I'm just getting choked up thinking about it. Flowers bring the moonlight with them. Calm mind and open heart greet the night. Dragon blood, Demacian heart. Let the blood boil, half dragon. All right, so they're telling us they have Pale Cascade. So we want to do our best to uh, not die to Pale Cascade. Dragon. We were peaceful once. Break them. Yeah, three cards, eight mana, uh, a 3-1, a 3-1, a 2-4, and deal six damage to your units. Two to each, all three. That's just so brutal. Then you pair that up with the, the their next eight mana spent was, you know, like, was Riptide Rex, which dealt, um, what, 14 damage and brought a 7-4. Just can't really trade with that kind of stuff. Rouse your kind, dragon. So I'm not sure exactly how I want to do this. Keep on like wishing we had one more mana. Do not test my patience. Next turn we could play, you know, Brood Mother, attack, that levels up Shivana. If, if they attack out, I can't I can't stop, you know, like they have one single combat. Or sorry, one uh, pill cascade that would be able to kill one of these things. But yeah, like, or we could just attack here, and then we have You know, we have like these different spells. It just feels like we're supposed to be playing stalking brood yeah, we should just be playing this. Then I just can't play any of these spells, like even even like the um, strike that we'll be able to create with that, we won't be able to play. There are none like me. But 
I can play all these things like on defense, basically keep them from killing me. Alright, so Screeching Dragon dies to like Pill Cascade, even like the 2-1 kills it. I can't I can't stop that. Um, I should be I should be challenging first, though, before in Violas Vox. This is pretty sweet. All these dragons. This is really cool. You cannot hold us down. Gotta use our new dragon emote. Taking it all. The Imperion. That's a cool dragon. Six mana, six five elusive. All right, so there's no there's no celestial here for me to destroy, for me to stop anything. So that's just gonna happen. Um, we'll go in single combat one of these. Get a fury kill. Draw a new dragon. Cool. More more Imperions. Don't think they're playing Ruination. Alright, like they're probably not playing Ruination. Save your worlds. We speak with blades. All right. Don't see the harm in playing more things and less ruination. All right, GGs. They will no match. Four and one. Our dragon deck looked pretty great. Now we did lose to the awesomeness of Bilgewater, Noxus. Uh, but besides that, uh, our deck looked really, really solid. Um, fun one to play too. Not too, not too long of games. Definitely my kind of deck of like you know just some beatdowns and and some challenging. Like I, I love challengers. I think they're really strong. Get a few combat tricks in here. I liked Sharp Sight. I thought that card looked really good. Um, so definitely my kind of deck. And you know have like some cool top end stuff as well to go crazy with them. Uh, definitely a plus. The The Dragon Guard Lookout was maybe the weaker card in our deck, but just because we only drew it one game, and we just didn't really need that extra attack. Uh, that one game we drew it. Um, but I like it. You know, like, think about, like, those those last games of, like, being able to have the Dragon Guard Lookout, like, go... T like, think about, like, that last game. Like, we could have one of those last turns, like, open attacked and then played the Lookout attack again. Works so well with Shivana, too. I like it. So there we go, that's Shivana Dragons. Cool, obviously you like this, this deck, I like this one too. Um, yeah, my kind of deck here. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Feel free to leave the comments anything about the deck or anything that you've been playing or any, any kind of decks that you want me to play. What do you want to see over there on YouTube? Give me those suggestions, tell me what you want me to play. Um, you know, if you want, you know, whatever kind of, uh, like what do you want to do with these new champs? You know, like I think we're going to play like Soraka Vladimir tomorrow. You know, and any other ideas, let me know and I'll, I'll build the decks. All right, but thank you so much for watching Shivana Dragons, and I'll see you for the next video.